hi and welcome to video number one of uh, this course so let's get started I just uh, opened a new blender scene and I have a bunch of images reference images I'm gonna show you so this is the blueprint that we will use this image is the front view we are gonna use this one and I have this back view in the front and uh, left and right and couple of perspective images to showcase the details and to understand what's going on there so we will use all of these images to create uh, this small robot the first thing that we need to do by the way I will put all of these images inside the project folder so if you want to begin you will find all of these images inside the project folder what I need to do is I need to set up the scene and put all of these images inside so let's get started the first thing here I need to change the unit let's go to this panel here it's called scene properties and let's jump to unit section open it and change this to centimeter so now it's meters let's change this to centimeter and now we are working with centimeter and let's delete everything here hit A to select everything and then hit X and D to delete it and we need now to jump in the front view because I need to put these images inside the blender if I grab these images for example if I grab the front view and put it right here as you see the image will align according to the view so because I'm looking at the scene from this angle this image will be faced to the scene view as you see right now so that's not gonna help I need to switch to the front view I will delete this one I don't want it to jump to the front view you need to go to view and then go to uh, viewport and from the viewport you need to pick a front if you have an numpad you can press number one from the numpad and I will do that so let's hit number one from the numpad and now we are in the front view and that's gonna make things easier for us now let's open the folder of the blueprint and let's grab this image the front view just click drag and put it inside the blender don't worry because it is not in the center I'm gonna center this image very easily so grab the image just to press alt G and with alt G we're going to reset the position of this image because now if I open this panel you can put your mouse on this arrow and open it as you see here in the location we are about 400 centimeter in the X and in the Y and in the Z about 100 centimeter so this image is not in the center I need to center it you can zero out all of these axes for example click for the X and drag the mouse down to the Z and now if you put a number for example a zero enter that is gonna zero out all of these slots and you can do something else you can select the image and press alt with G to zero out all of these so now the image is in the center and that's all what I need when you complete select the image and if you select the image a new panel here will be open inside this panel I can control the properties of the image that I added so let's tumble around and let's see what we got here so now we can see the image in the perspective we can see it in the both sides so this is the front and this is the back I need this image to be shown in the front view and just in the front view if I go to back I need this image to be disappeared so this is very easy to do you need to go to the option of the image and go to the side section and change it from both to front and now if I go from the behind I see nothing here and that's what I want so so far we just added this one and we put it in the right location we just need to push it backwards a bit so a G to move and now as you see when you move the mouse the image following the mouse but we need to move this to the Y axis so we need to hit Y from the keyboard to lock the axis and make this image just move to the Y axis 
and then just push it a bit don't worry about uh, push it in a specific uh, location and put right here so now we have the front view all right now we need to go to the back view to add the back view image you can go to view viewport and hit back or you can press control number one i'm going to do that control number number one and there we go let's open the folder again and this is the back view click drag and crop it inside blender and don't worry select the image alt g and the image will be centered and that's cool now let's go to the properties of the image and let's change the side from both to front and now we just can we can see the image from the back view not in the front view so just hit g y and move it a bit maybe right here just give it uh, a room all right so now we have the front the back we need to add the left or the right so let's go to the view and let's jump to the maybe right view you can press number number three and now we are in the right view let's open the folder of the images and let's drag the right view and put it inside and very easy select the image alt key to reset the location and change this to front and let's push it a bit to the x-axis so g and hit x to move it to the x-axis very easily and now we need to add the left view let's go to view viewboard left or you can press control number three that's gonna work let's open the folder let's grab the left drop it inside and there we go select it alt key and change the side to the front and now we have the left view g and move it right here all right so now we just added all the images and we are almost ready to model now we have everything here cool as you see here i am templing around in the perspective and the images all of the images are shown in the perspective i need these images just shown in the orthographic view what i mean is orthographic is the front and the back and the left and the right so these views calls orthographic i need to see all of these images in the orthographic not in the perspective if i tumble around all of these images are here so what can i do to hide them so i will grab them just like that and as you see all the images are selected and i will go to the image properties here and here i have <coughs> here i have an option <coughs> here i have an option it's called display perspective if i toggle this as you see i can hide the images inside in the perspective but i got a problem when i check this just the active image is hidden i need to hide all of these so to make this option working on all of these images you need to hit alt and then hit this checkbox and if you do that you can affect all of the images but without alt you can just affect one of them so let's hit alt and hide all of these images and let's jump to front view because now i need to do something this is the x-axis and this is the zero ground level i need to bring or push this robot up a bit so hit g and z and take the robot up and align it with the x-axis but as you see here i cannot see the x-axis i just want to make sure that the fit of the robot stands on this x-axis so here we have some option we can use transparency let's activate it and let's take this down to take this down i need to select this front image and open the transparency for this one and take this down and now i can see through this image all right now when you do that let's hit a to select everything and now let's hit g to the z to move this robot a bit and now to need to put it on this axis 
so because of all of these images are accurate so all of these images will be on the ground <coughs> so you just need to worry about the front view and everything else will be precise when you completely just take this to one again and to make to make this bright all right so that's cool <coughs> that's very nice all right now after that I have something else to do I don't know what size this robot is I just need to make sure that I'm working to the scale that I want so maybe this robots have two meters height maybe 15 centimeter high I don't know so I need to add reference to understand what's going on here to add something here we need to go to add and go mesh and I will select cube and there we go now I have a cube here I need to make sure I need I need just to know what size this cube is so to do that you can go to this the same panel just open it and go to item and here in the dimension you can understand what's going on here so we have in the XYZ 200 centimeter that's been 2 meter so let's grab this up hit G to move it and Z to move it to the Z axis and let's put it right here so this robot is about two meter and it is taller than two meter if you want to scale this down you can do that or if you want to leave it you can leave it so that's your decision if you want to work just like that and then scale it down that will work or you or if you if you want to scale it right now that's gonna work so for me I'm going to teach you how to scale it down so delete the box or if you want leave the box and change the dimension maybe you need this robot to be about 50 centimeter height so change the change the z-axis to 50 and hit enter and now we have 50 centimeter height drop this down to the zero level just like that and now I need to scale this robot down so to do that I need to select all of these images let's grab all of these images just like that and this box is selected to deselect the box hold control and click and drag to deselect this box and now as you see I selected all of these images because these dot points are selected as you see here all right now let's go to the front view hit number one from the numpad and let's go to this option right here if I scale without manipulating or without changing the option right here I'm gonna give you example if I hit S to scale I will scale to the center of this point all of these images will go there and if I do that I'm gonna lose the alignment of the robot with the ground so I need to scale them without using the alignment there is a nice option here you can you, you can use you can change this option of the before to 3d cursor and if I do that the scale will work according to the 3d cursor that exists right here in the center as you see so let's do that change this to 3d cursor and now if you scale you can scale to the 3d cursor and the robot will stay on the ground and as you see now I can take this down down right about maybe I can I gonna leave it taller than 50 centimeter just maybe maybe like that I don't want to make it very small and when you come it just to grab the box and delete it you don't need anything else here all right so that's cool now we are al almost ready the final thing that we want to do before we start modeling anything we just need to grab all of these images hit a from the keyboard and then hit M from the keyboard to create a new collection so just go to this one the option create a new collection and call it images or you can call it blueprint and then hit OK and there we go now we just added all of these images inside the blueprint now you can hide them just like that turn off the images turn on the images and now they are organized right here Alright, so that's what we'll do for this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.